Okay, so I'm, so I'm back here again. Uh, it's quite windy and I don't have this uh, thing for my phone to um, to take away the, the wind. But I don't have a mic. I don't have a mic. I'm gonna get one. Anyway, I'm walking here with my dogs. That's uh, Mille. Mille. Milos. Hello there. And this is Prince, named after the beautiful and lovely and multi-talented, um, fantastic artist Prince, who, uh, whom I love, loved and love, still love. Okay, so that was that yesterday. Uh, I also went yesterday to um, a really cool Japanese store in a small village called Hamanhag, uh, the nearest little village from where I live, where my breakfast, bed, my, where my bed and breakfast is. Uh, and what was it called? G, Jeepsan or something? Jeepsan. Uh, this Japanese store, and it, it was it's owned by a guy called Cosmos. Really cool name, by the way, and his mum. They opened it about, I think it was, well, they opened it in midsummer, so in June this year. And really cool stuff sweets and Japanese sweets, Korean sweets, um, drinks, um, uh, what else? Ice cream, some kind of, uh, it was like this, we call it crush in Swedish, but it's, they, they make it in a different way, so it lasts longer. The the ice ice cream uh, slush slush is called in Swedish, yes. Um, but they, yes, it's it's a different uh, process to make it. So that was really nice. I had one, and so I went there, and it was really nice. Um, and then I went around on all the small, around in small villages and on the road. Look, just looking around because it's so beautiful, as you can see. My God. It's just fantastically beautiful. Um, so I'm so thankful that I could get a wake up. I start work tomorrow again as a teacher teaching Spanish um, anyways what else today first of all I have to see that my car works because yesterday it kind of made a really strange sound and it it was vibrating oh my god so I really hope that I will get home safe today safely um, I'm just looking because I, t I spoke to a couple at the breakfast and they were really nice. They were from Stockholm and they are driving away now. And they're also going to make a some excursions here. So anyway, I hope my, my car will, will, won't will break because that's not nice. I have to drive very far and I have to drive fast because well, it's a motorway, so you know you have to drive fast. Otherwise, you're you're in hazard to your to the other traffickers. Anyway, look at this beautiful. Can you see how pretty it all is? Oh, so pretty. So that's my BMB. And those are my breakfast neighbors. <laughs> you can't see them now. Anyway, so there I'm gonna look up there. Yes, I went to the flower festival and I went to this Japanese shop and I had had a uh, quiet night in, as I usually do. <laughs> Um, I would like to go to this author's thing today. It's uh, 
different oh i don't know why i'm whispering because i'm so close to their window uh anyway it's uh around here in astelian this part of skona southern sweden and you you can go home to various authors very interesting i would love to go home to one author that's called um now i forgot his name <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I have to cut this video. Anyway, he's very famous in Sweden. I can't, I can't remember his name. Oh, not good. I want to go home to his home. It's outside a little town called Shivik. It's on the coast also, and it's very beautiful and pretty and picturesque, like all other places in this area. I think almost everywhere it's so picturesque and so quaint and so so pretty his name is uh, Jaran Ranelid that's his name him he and his wife has uh, will open his home today for people who are interested in books and uh, authorships and I am I would like to write books and I, <laughs> I love to read books so I'm very interested in this subject so I think I'm gonna go there if my car doesn't break down anyways I have to get going now, um, so I won't be home too late because it will take me, well, maybe seven hours <laughs> to get home. Maybe, yeah, around six, seven hours or even longer, eight, nine, I need to stop maybe, eat something, well, take the dogs out for a little walk and so on. Anyway, a small uh, last glimpse now from my bed and breakfast here in Räv Åkra near a village called Hammenhög in Österlen in southeast part of Sweden. Really pretty. Look around. Bye bye. Besos, puss och kram. Kisses and hugs.